thank you so much for clicking on my video. So today's video is going to be the love tag. I wanted to do a video on love and relationships for quite a while now as I have been going through a bit of a rough patch love wise but I woke up this morning and realised I actually don't need this person in my life anymore and if I ever see them again I am going to do this. Take a good look at this. You ain't ever gonna get this candy. I've got a good heart. So Gemma. take that and kiss yeah. that. I think that clip is so funny and I have to say it really just makes me giggle and that's how I feel. I feel like I actually deserve a lot better than what I've got at the moment so I'm just going to believe in myself and have confidence in myself and be happy. So this is quite a personal video but I do want to be honest and talk about my feelings and how I feel in my videos. I just think it makes for better content on my channel. And I stumbled across this tag on Google and I'll link the video that I found below. But now let's get started on my one. Question number one is, do you believe that love exists? And I have to say that yes, I do. I definitely believe love exists because what would the world be without love? Love comes in all sorts of shapes and forms, i.e. in the relationship with a mother, a father, a best friend or a boyfriend or girlfriend. It doesn't necessarily have to be like marriage or anything. So I do believe love exists and I think that we would be nowhere without it. Question number two, have you ever been in love? This is a really difficult question as I'm honestly not sure if I have been truly in love or if I just thought I was in love. And I guess the answer means that I haven't been in love because I know they say that when you know, you know, but I'm honestly not sure. But I did really love that person that I was with, but I don't know if I was necessarily in love with them. So I'm going to say no. Soz mate. Question number three, what's the difference of being in love with someone and having a crush on someone? I think the difference between that is, is that if you're in love with someone, they have the power to hurt you. But when you just have a crush on someone, it doesn't bother you so much, it doesn't consume you. Like, when you're in love with someone, that's all you think about. All you think about is them and seeing them and speaking to them. But when you have a crush on someone, I just think it's a lot more chill and casual, obviously. And you're not so worried about getting hurt or anything. But that's just my opinion. Okay, question number four. I really don't understand this question. It's what is your love language? And honestly, I don't get this question at all. So I'm going to skip it. Moving on. Question number five, do looks matter in love? I do not think that they matter at all. I think that looks are something that attract you to someone, but you fall in love with their personalities because they're not going to look the same at 80 years old as they did when you first met them. So obviously it's the person that you love and want to be around. It doesn't matter what they look like as long as they're fun to be around and treat you right. So no, I don't think looks matter in love at all. Question number six, do you believe in love at first sight? I am not sure if I believe in love at first sight. I feel like I have had like connections with people when I first met them or seen them. I do think I have had connections with people just through looking at them like once. But I don't know if I believe in love at first sight. I think that's a really... I, I don't think I do believe in love at first sight. I think it's impossible to love someone when you haven't met them. Unless you're looking at like the baby that you've just given birth to or that you're like friends just given birth to I think that's possible because you can love your child at first sight that's different but relationship wise with like a boyfriend or a girlfriend I do not believe in love at first sight unless we're talking about Harry Styles in which case yes mm. what a babe question number seven what is your favorite love quote it would have to be this one by Chuck Bass ding 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 two people are meant to be together Eventually they'll find their way back. If two people are meant to be together, eventually they'll find their way back. I love that quote as it just fills you with so much hope. Like, say if you're not with someone but you really want to be with them, if you believe that you are meant to be together, then you're, you are going to be together because the universe, if that's the universe's plan, then you don't need to worry that you're not with them right now because you will be. And if not, you'll, you'll meet someone else and you'll be fine. But whoever you're meant to be with, you will be with and you'll be happy. So I just quite like that quote because it's quite like heartwarming and full of hope. 
Question number eight. Should we look for love, wait for love, or forget about love until it happens? I definitely don't think we should look for love. I think that we should give love out and just act with love all the time, as then love will return to you. So as long as you treat people with love, you will receive love back. But I don't think you should purposely go out thinking, I want to find my soulmate today because I think all the time you're thinking about it it's just not going to happen things happen unexpectedly so I think if you just treat people with love and just forget about worrying about trying to be with someone or anything then it will happen to you and you will be happy question number nine does age matter in love I do not think age matters in love I mean it is a bit creepy if you're like 14 and a 50 year old wants to date you but that isn't love <laughs> um, I don't think age matters in love at all you can have things in common with people older than you or younger than you and you can have a connection with those people but I don't know if I could be with someone like 20 years older than me because they're gonna die most likely before me but I really don't think age does matter not when it comes to love look at Jacob and Renesmee and number 10, how do you not get hurt by love? There is no way to not get hurt by love. You're always going to get hurt if you love someone because I think that when you love someone, that is when you give away the power for them to hurt you. And people are always going to hurt you. And if you love someone, then you forgive them as long as they are truly sorry. Because I think even if you're just talking about love with a friend or your sister, you're going to have fights and they're going to do things that upset you and it will upset you and hurt you so I think there's absolutely no way to not get hurt by love the only way to not get hurt by love is to not love at all which I think then you're just hurting yourself if you don't open up your heart to love so there's absolutely no way to get hurt by love but there are millions and millions of ways to be happy and thankful for love so I think that's all that matters at the end of the day love is for the greater good and even if you get hurt once you're going to be happy about love more than once so that is my philosophy on it and that's it for this tag video I'm honestly not sure who I'm going to tag but I will decide and leave a link down below to the people who I tag so if I tag you do the video if I don't well you can still make the video who's dropping you not me I hope you enjoyed this video it was a little different to what I normally make but I had fun filming it and it was nice to just have a little chat about how I feel Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!